Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Master. This is their part number 1525V55. This is a typical padlock, uh, combination padlock. Uh, this model, however, will have a key override on it, and that's the V55 part of the part number. Got some information engraved on the back there. Okay. Uh, the combination that this is set to is in the box. This design is, for all intents and purposes, unchanged for I don't know how many decades. This is what they looked like in 1980 when I was using one. Uh, the combination is included. This is 200600. That's a little unusual combination. I think we're going to go clear it two or three times to the right. Stop on 20. You're going to go past zero, but you're going to go past zero twice, I think, on this. And then you'll stop at zero, I think. Yeah, okay, I did it right. So that's set. when you go back to the left, you've got to go past your original combination past zero is how that would open. Um, so there you go. Okay. Now, padlocks are governed by their size of their shackles. Um, this is called a three-quarter inch shackle. And that size is always the inside width and then the height. And it's probably going to be about three quarter in both dimensions would be my guess. The width is 0.822, so 0.822 wide. Then the height of the shackle, it's a curved surface there, but it looks like it's 0.835. 0.835. So, you know, it's really 13 sixteenths by 13 sixteenths, but that's what it is. Oh, then the other thing that's important is the diameter of the shackle, and that's, it might be 5 sixteenths, or a quarter inch maybe. Let's take a look. Point two eight one. Point two eight one. So, 5 thirty second of an inch? No. Nope. Eight nine thirty second of an inch is what that should be. 0.28. Yes, I'm going to stick with nine thirty seconds of an inch. Okay, um, and that's how these work. Let's switch now to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at, and we have some photographs linked to down below. And let's take a look at it. Here's your box. Here's your padlock with the combination. Obviously a side view. Let's go to the next set of pictures. Obviously opened. The engraving that's on the back. Now the factory can recover combinations based on the code, the indirect code that's on there. They're going to ask for a lot of additional details from you um, if you are trying to recover these because when these padlocks are ordered there is a record kept of the information supplied to the factory at the time of order. So this client ordered six of these padlocks and the client's ship to information is supplied to master at the time that the order is placed. They will not process an order without it. So they have this database that says these codes went to this location. So be sure that you know, you know, they, they do an exceptional job thwarting the attempts of determining what codes are um, for that material uh, based on other information that they retain as well. Um, and they're, you know, um, such as who it was sold through and things of that nature. So while some information you may know, uh, other information you wouldn't know, so be sure to work directly with your distributor um, that you purchased the material in order to recover combinations. A little close-up view. I don't even think that red little indicator has changed in, in 40 years. Uh, okay, so now we have a cut sheet that's here. Let's click on that. And that cut sheet's going to allow us to look at the 1525... Uh, that part number specifically means that a control chart is included, and I will show you that at the end of the video. 
And as we continue to look at this um, cut sheet, you can see the overview. High security combination lock, double, double armored stainless steel case, dual ball locking with boron alloy shackle for superior pull, pry, and wrap and cut resistance. Um, they didn't make them like that many years ago, I can tell you that. Um, 1525 and the 2010 have key control override for super, super <laughs> supervisory access, key ordered separately. That's where that V55 is going to come into play. There are different, obviously, key overrides available on these padlocks. So the 1525 in includes the control chart, and again, I will show that to you. Um, and then there are just variations on these padlocks, different sizes that are listed here, as you can see. Okay, so a nice summary overview of this line of padlocks. Speaking of summary overview, there's a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up um, not only all of the master products that we sell by means of this horizontal, na <clears throat> pardon me, this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to their current and past catalogs that we have, along with uh, an older catalog, a master lock technical manual. That would be uh, a very handy document if you're a locksmith and you're working on some of their material. Uh, not nearly everything that they make is in this document, but uh, <clears throat> you will certainly find encyclopedic helpful information about the very foundation, the platform of their keying. So I would certainly suggest that you review this if you work in this material. Uh, also what's here is going to be a page of key blanks, and here it is. This page is really handy because a client will be looking for a key blank from master, and usually with a photograph, uh, one of each side, we can determine which blank is necessary. I have found blanks uh, that a client needs that I was unable to identify here, so there's likely restricted blanks that the factory simply does not publish the broaching of the cylinder plug, you know, for obvious reasons why they wouldn't. And that document is so important that I literally have it lock keys and keyways, I think. Yeah, just a standalone link there as well. Definitions are here as well. Uh, very handy. It's more of a locksmithing document. Uh, the world of locksmithing is governed, of course, by um, definitions. And we have that linked to there. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera and take a look at that control list. Okay, so here's the control chart that you have here, okay? And inside of this is going to be the uh, control chart itself. I'm just gonna fold over the client's original information there. So pretty simple and straightforward, okay? There you go, six padlocks six combinations. There's also a uh, CD that's here and also includes that information electronically. And then of course that cut sheet is here basically as well. Um, we don't sell them with the control charts very often, uh, that's to be sure. Uh, however, you know, you need, it, it's a nice way basically uh, to start or keep or continue on with your record of what it is um, you know, of what this material is and the importance of being able to keep combinations or what we would call in the locksmithing world bidding lists in a safe, secure place for future, um, you know, for future reference. So there you go. Uh, the name Master is synonymous, of course, with padlocks. I believe that they are uh, quite connected with ABIS and American. I like Master a lot because approaching it from a locksmithing perspective, um, you can, I, I've had great success calling them and speaking to them at a technical level and getting someone at the other end of the line with total competence over the uh, subject matter. And to them for that I say thank you. Any questions on the 1525, V55, control key override combination padlock or any other master product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. 
Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.